public art does a whole lot of good. Uh, it reminds people about what's best about where they live, uh, and it keeps that sense of local identity, that sense of community identity, and, and makes people proud of where they live. And they say, wow, we live in a great place. And people take photographs in front of it, it becomes a postcard for the town, you know, bike tours pose in front of them, things like that. Uh, and so it does a huge amount of good. What turned me into a mural painter mostly was looking at the dioramas in the Natural History Museum in Denver. And I wanted to be able to do paintings like that, you know, where it looked like ice and the Arctic going on or jungle. I saw a painting when I was a little kid by Maynard Dixon called Ghost Riders in the Sky, which was in a post office in Texas. And it was one of the coolest paintings I ever saw with these ghost riders and these skeleton cows coming through the, you know, lightning and thunder in the clouds. And I remember it had a huge effect on me seeing that painting. So I always liked painting big. Out of 138 pieces of public art, uh, one of the privileges of it is being in this catalytic position where people come up to me and they say, gosh, I'm glad you're doing this. It's so nice to see a, a, a change. I always thought we could. And then they have some idea about their town or, or something they could do in their community. So I'm always in this position of saying, well, what would it take? Who do you have to talk to? How much money would you have to raise? Look, it only takes me a couple of weeks to do this, and it lasts for 80, 100 years and does good every day. 